God gave us the responsibility for life. Somebody says, well, wait a minute. I thought when I became a Christian, God was going to take care of it all. And, 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 and I wasn't going to have to worry about anything. Joseph was a slave in Egypt. But the Bible says that God blessed everything his hand touched. Everything he did, God blessed the work of his hand. You've got to give God something to work with before he can start blessing it. You've got to start doing something. It's a responsibility of yours. Genesis chapter 2, 15, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. It was the moment of responsibility for man. Can you think of an area in your life that you've dropped your responsibility? Is it easier for you to let somebody else raise your child than to take the responsibility yourself? How about planning for your future? Is it easier for you to allow somebody else to plan your future than to sit down with a piece of paper, the Word of God, and in a prayerful attitude begin to write down, Lord, what do you see for me? What is your will in my life? Well, I don't know if I should do that or not. It's your life. Your dad can't live it. Your mama can't live it. Your teacher can't live it. Your pastor can't live it. It's your life. Who's going to take responsibility for it if you don't? Well, things are just going to happen. Yes, they will. But wouldn't you rather live a life where you are happening to things versus everything happening to you? It's not going to happen unless you steward your life. The third thing is become accountable. Now, I might lose some people here. But unless you're going to become accountable for something, you're not really committed to it. So it's important to say the things in your life that you need to say. I remember, and I'm, I, I've preached about this, I've talked about this, but I remember when uh, I was addicted to pornography and I was trying to come out of that and I, I didn't want to be there anymore. And I had, I had been open with my wife and I had been open with my fiance and I had talked to her about what was going on in my life, but I, but I didn't know, okay, what do I do with that? And, and, you know, a conversation every once in a while was one thing, but being accountable was another thing. And I remember whenever the switch went off in my brain and I realized, why do I have to wait until I messed up royally to go to her and say, baby, I'm asking you to forgive me. This is what I did. This is how it happened. And so on and so forth. Why do I have to wait for that? Why don't I be accountable for beforehand and say, hey, honey, let me tell you, I've had some thoughts today that I shouldn't have had. And I had some desires today that weren't right. And I, I had some things that, that went on that I just, I don't even want to go there. So I'm telling you now, I'm being accountable now for what could be. Hey, amen. If, if you're stuck way back there where you realize that the pastor of this church wasn't perfect, uh, you're going to have to get over that and keep on moving. Because <laughs> uh, we're going to leave you in the dirt there. We're one of those churches that believes people's people and everybody's got their issues and, and we serve a God that can handle that and forgive that. And we move on. Yeah. So how 